Welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you are new, hello, my name is Blanquesla. It's that even now, welcome back. I know I've been gone for a month, but I've been busy doing life. <laughs> um, I'll explain uh, later in the future. But um, I will be back to posting regularly on on YouTube and Instagram pretty, pretty soon. Just give me a couple of more weeks. Um, but I did want to film today because I actually had time to film today. So in today's video, I'm going to be um, showing you guys my favorites and my go-to lately products for my face. So that's going to include highlighters, blushes, and bronzers, and a couple of my everyday um, foundations. Well, actually, I like two. <laughs> I guess in the order that I do my makeup. So first I do primer. I actually use moisturizer first, um, but I guess I can include that today. Okay. A moisturizer that I've been using a lot lately has been this one by Youth. This is their day and night cream uh, moisturizer. It has hyaluronic acid, snail extract, um, which I think is pretty interesting, um, and green tea. And this is what it looks like. It is a really, really good moisturizer, and why is it? Oh, there you go. So a little bit does go a long way, so I, I just get a little bit on my finger. I just put it all over my face. I use it at night when I um, wash my face, but I also use it in the mornings when I feel like my skin needs a little bit more hydration. I will put this uh, on... We'll put this before my makeup application, and my skin stays hydrated all day, and my skin has been so hydrated lately because of this i don't think there's a moisturizer that has helped as much as this one and i really love it i do, I do recommend it it's from youth so if you guys want a new one to try out try out this one um i also use the sunday riley one sometimes but i can't find it i've been moving stuff around in my vanity and it's somewhere here but i'm almost out of that one and i love that one as well so it's between this one and the other one. So I apply one of those two before I do my makeup. And then for primer, I've been really um, into two lately. One of them has been my favorite for the longest time. But a newer one that I've been using is from Ila Mask. And this is their Hydra Veil Primer. And I did get this in one of my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus bags. And that's what it looks like. This is a really good primer um if you have oily skin i do recommend it because it is gel like so it's not going to oil up your skin or clog your pores and it's really good to keep your skin hydrated as well um so i do recommend it if you are oily but also have dry skin at the same time but if you have really dry skin you are going to love this um primer and then the one that i've been using for the longest and i really love is the professional matte rescue by benefit this is my go-to, like, I wear this almost every day. Uh, this one's out, um, but I did get a new one. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys like Benefit and you have really oily skin, I do recommend this one. It is um, gel-based as well, so it's not going to clog up your pores. It is not going to make you oily. And it keeps me matte for a long, long time. So that's why I love this primer. And then another primer by Benefit that I also like, but I don't use it every day, is the 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 original pore professional primer. This is really good to cover up your pores, and it does keep you mad. But I just like the other one better than this one. But I do use this one as well. So it's between those three right now. Um, a drugstore one that I really do like is from well, they're not from a drugstore, but they're pretty pretty affordable it was uh two of them are from no one is from makeup revolution one is from iheart's makeup revolution i did do a review on the iheart one the peach one that is really really good i do recommend it and then the matte primer from makeup revolution that one is really good as well and they're both pretty affordable so you guys were looking for affordable options and then after i do my primer i do two foundation um you guys already know my go-to foundation um, that I've been using since day one. Oh, fuck. The Matte, the Matte and Poilis by Maybelline. Um, so I do work 10-hour shifts, and that's, like, probably one of the foundations that actually, um, stays on my face the whole 10 hours. And my face just looks really, really good in it. I just love how my skin looks in that foundation, and it keeps me matte, and it helps cover up your pores. So that's 
always gonna be probably my favorite foundation of all time but that's the one that i use for work so i use it almost every day um uh, but another drugstore one that i do really like is the candid photo the photo ready candid one by revlon this one is really really good as well i do have it on right now and this one i just okay i like the way my skin looks in this one as well but this one doesn't really keep me like matte per se so i do use a matte primer with this one and i do set it really good and it's good throughout the night and throughout the day um but i still really like the maybelline one better but i do recommend this one as well it is really 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 good and it's really affordable um i do have some high-end ones that i like but i kind of want to but i don't want to make it too long of a video but so those are the and those are the two that i've been using a lot lately so keeping the theme of the video and then after i do foundation i do do my doo doo i do to what the fuck i do do my concealer you guys already know my go-to is the shape tape by tarte i also use this literally every single day for work as well a little of this does go a long way so a tube of this actually lasts me for a long time and it's surprising because i do makeup every day so <sighs> i just love the shape tape uh but a new one that i have started using is the aoa studio liquid concealer by shop miss a this one the one right here it's their paw paw concealer and this is only a dollar and 55 cents and oh my god for that price it's a really good primer i did do a review on it um it's you guys go to go to my channel you guys can look for the video um it is a really good conceal concealer i do recommend it and i am planning to do a video comparing these two so keep an eye out for that i'm excited <laughs> but yeah so after that i do set my face and to set my face um i really like of course the airspun one of my favorite setting sprays setting setting powders and then the other one that i like is the maybelline one the um, oh man i can't find it but it's the fit me loose um setting powder by maybelline i love that one so much but um the the airspun is a little bit more cheaper than that one so that's why i use the airspun almost every day especially for work and i'm not using the airspun i am using the maybelline one and i love it i do recommend it i love the way it looks after you set and bake your face with it it just looks so smooth and flawless like oh, i just love it and then after that, I do set my face before I do the rest of my face makeup. And for setting spray lately, I've been using the Tarte Stay, Stay, Stay Spray Setting Spray. This one right here. It is a really good setting spray. Um, I love the way it smells. And the mist is so, so fine that you don't feel it when you're spraying on your face. And one time I sprayed it so much, I opened my eyes and I was like, and i was like oh my god but it is a really good setting spray i do recommend it it does help keep your face in place all day and then uh, the other one that i use of course is the all nighter by for urban decay but i'm almost out of this one so i've been using the tart more but i did order a new urban decay one so i'm waiting for that one and then after that i do contour and all that jazz and um the last couple of months i've only been using i'm well, not been using three okay um okay so it's been going back and forth through four bronzers um the first one is this uh gg gorgeous the sick sculpt bronze bronzer duo this one right here in the shades turns and extra when i use this one i do mix both of them and i do use it like that um i feel like the dark one is too dark and the light one is too light so when i mix them together it's just the perfect shade and i use this every day for work like literally every day for work and i'm almost hitting pan on it like you guys can see the little pan coming through a little bit so when this goes out i'm gonna order a new one i did get it in my ipsy bag and the next one that I really like is uh, by BH Cosmetics. This is their Brilliance Bronzer. It did get a shade too dark, but I just go in with a light tan and it's good to go. And I really like this bronzer as well. Um, it just depends how I'm feeling that day. I go between these two. And then sometimes, and um, when I'm not using those two, I do go in with this, um, with the, um, 
What's it called? The Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced. It did come in the holiday collection. And I just love this bronzer. And I also have been using the highlighter a lot. So I, this has been on my vanity since I got it as well. And I'll just pick it up once in a while. But I do use this more than the other products that I have. But I do use these bronzers more than this. But it is something that I use. Especially the highlighter. It is really, really, really pretty. And then I do have a palette that has... The highlighter, bronzer, and blush, but I'll show that one at last because it has everything on it. The next thing we're going to talk about is a blush. Um, one of the blushes that I'm, like, really obsessed with right now is a Serafina blush by Juvia's Place. I'm almost hitting pan on that one so you guys can see, like, the pan coming through. It is such a pretty blush. I am wearing that one right now. And, oh, oh to do my bronzer today, I did use the Gigi Gorgeous one. And yeah, that's the blush I'm wearing today. It is a really, really pretty shade. And it lasts all day. And I've been going back and forth as well between that blush and two other blush palettes. This one is by Too Faced from their holiday collection. And then on this one, I've been mixing like literally all four. So I just go in with my brush and I'll dip in all four and that's my blush for the day. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day because this one does have a shimmery one. So when I don't want to look a too, too extra, I don't use this one. But I have been using it a lot lately. And then the other palette that I've been using is by Surfing Botanicals. This is their Hab Hab Hibiscus. Um, hibiscus, not hibiscus, hibiscus, um, blush palettes. And I've been mixing this one and this one as well. So these two and then that, that was my blush. So for work, I either go between this one and the Juvia's Place one. And then when I'm not going to work, I go between the Too Faced one and the, and the Juvia's Place actually, yeah. And then the last thing is um, highlighter. Uh, so when I bought this highlighter, I was like totally obsessed with it. And I'm still obsessed with it. It is so pretty and it lasts all day. And it's really easy to apply. Oh my god. I've, I've, you, I used this for a whole month straight for work. And I got so many compliments. I'm like, girl, it's that Airspun highlighter. So it is a really good highlighter. I do recommend it. It is really, really pretty. I did do a poll on Instagram. Um... Of my followers and most people said they didn't like it and I should have asked why but I didn't um, but it is a really good highlighter and I really like it and I recommend it and then another highlighter that I actually used today um, this is and I got it in my Ipsy bag this is by Space Case Space Case Cosmetics this is their um, highlighter IB this one right here I am wearing it right now and it is glowy as fuck dude like oh my god it is a really pretty highlighter. Um, it was really easy to apply. At first I thought it wasn't going to be easy because it is a really, really creamy and squishy. So I thought I was going to have to apply it with my finger. I was going to look cakey and patchy. But it didn't. It applied really, really good. And it looks really, really pretty. So first impressions, I do like it. And I do recommend it to you guys. It is so, so cute. <laughs> And then the last thing is a palette, um, a face palette. This is by Mellow Cosmetics. And this is their, their Stardust Glow Palette. This has been one of my favorite face palettes for the past couple of months. Um, I love the blush in it. Uh, this is a little bit too dark, but I will use this to contour my nose. Because um, I, I always use a shade darker to contour my nose. It just looks better, in my opinion. And then when I do highlight, I mix both of them. And, yeah. And I like how it has a mirror. And then it's really good for traveling because it has everything on there. And I do like it. I do recommend the Mellow Cosmetics for you guys. I have a couple of their products. And they're really pretty. Pigmented. Their lipsticks are comfortable. Their eyeshadows blend really, really, really good. And the face palette is really good. I do have a code and a link with them. If you guys want to use the link, it is down below. You click on the link. And then from there, at checkout, you use um, code MELO10. And you get 10% off your order. So you guys want to use it? Go ahead, girl. Save some money. So if you guys want me to do a video on a specific category of makeup, let me know and I will do it and show you all my favorites from that category because I have lots. So for this video guys, thank you guys for watching.
I will try to upload more in the next couple of weeks, but I will be back normal to my normal uploads and stuff in a couple of weeks. Wait, does it make sense? I'll be back to my normal self soon, okay? Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time. And comment down below what are your favorite face products. I want to know. I want to know too, girl. Maybe something that I haven't tried. Maybe I want to try it. Bye, guys.